My question was actually about social media and um, speaking out and being a doer versus a hearer. Um, recently, Pastor Jackie been talking about these bills that are coming out. And so I've been posting things, letting everybody know uh, to get active, to wake up, to get moving, because these things are really happening. And I've never been so attacked hostily uh, <laughs> by people telling me, well, Snopes says that it's wrong, so it's false. Mm. And no matter what I put out there, they're constantly um, berating what I have to say. And how do I go about being a light on social media without seeming combative when speaking up for the truth and things that need to be done? Truth is going to cause people to become combative. There's just no other way around that. Your job is to be accurate and loving. How they cope with the reality, it's not your responsibility. Second thing is, and maybe this is a generational thing. I was going to say, that's what it is. It's generational. You know, I'm really glad to be an older person, and I'll tell you why. No, I'm dead serious. I post stuff that I know about and that I believe in, that I'm convicted about, and that it has biblical relevance to me. I do not care what another person says about it. I honestly don't care. So what you want to say, say truth. And what's funny about, here's the thing about Snopes, is, and, and the fact-checking industry, who are these people? Who made them the authority on everything that's being said? It cracks me up. It's funny, yeah, that's not true. That bill, that's, that's been made up, that's fake. Well, then why is the state uh, assembly voting on it if it's fake? You see, you don't need to listen to their comments. They're actually detractors. And you know how it says you have so many Facebook friends? Do you know any of them? They're not your friends. I actually um, keep my Facebook pretty clean, but it's people who know people that are... Right, so friends of friends are allowed. But this, right. I think what happens, too, for us, and I, I agree with Jack on this 100%, it is generational. It's got to be. A, a lot of it is that I didn't grow up yeah. um, really kind of seeing myself and identifying myself on the basis of how many of us do now with social media. And we see this with Gen Z. Right? We're just doing a, we're getting ready to write a book on, on Gen Z. And if you do all, all the studies on those three to 18, you'll see that so much of your personal identity is developed on what your interaction is on social media. How many likes, I mean, even my daughters now are 22 and 20. You know, I watched them grow up and concerned about how many likes that Instagram post was getting, right? Because mm. it's a value, it actually determines their own personal value. And if they've got 100 friends, then what percentage of those 100 friends will affirm this thing they just posted? So for us, I think a lot of this is, okay, I get it. And that's what's even harder when it's, you know, a friend of a friend who is, who's treating you this way. But a lot of it is, maybe this is we're social, we're, we're uh, public figures. Oh my gosh, if I could show you the statements that are sent to me on Twitter, it's, it's amazing. I'm just, I'm, my wife's like, you know, she wants to move out of the country, basically, you know. But a lot of it is what we do instead is I'm just very active about, okay, I've made my position. If you're just going to troll me, I'm just going to block you. I, it doesn't, it's, no, it's water off a duck's back. You cannot, that's an expression, right? Water off a duck's back. They have no idea what you're doing. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, thanks. So the point is, uh, you know, I think you have to really be thick-skinned to do this. Yeah. And if you're going to speak the truth, you have to be thick-skinned. Because otherwise, guarantee all of us in this room will find some reason to retreat from the fight this week. Because something's going to happen to you that's going to cause some, something's going to happen to you this week. And you got to make a decision. Is that going to make me retreat from the fight or not? And I don't want to see this as a warrior kind of paradigm all the time, right? Because that, that's no way to live either. But the point is, we have to be ready to stand up for what we believe and be ready to be criticized on social media. And just, I'm just over it.